Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be making a move on your girl friend. Got an email here from a viewer. He's obviously in a friendship with this particular girl that he really likes and wants, and it sounds like she may be showing him some signals that she's potentially feeling romantically interested. So let's take a closer look, shall we? He says, hey, Corey, thanks for writing your book. There's some great information in there. And there's this girl in college that I was all about or I was all into. I'm 26 now, and I would tell you the tale of her. We would always laugh and have a good time at the bar, but she was just dating most of the time. I did the friend approach because I didn't know any better. I did that a lot in my, t my early 20s. It never got me anywhere either. He says, I took her out to a concert the summer before junior year. We had fun, but she pulled away when I tried to put my arm around her. Being intelligent enough to understand reality, I told her I needed to break from our friendship because I crushed on her. This was one of the hardest things I ever did and made the situation worse. I ended up going abroad and she started dating an NHL player when I was gone. I haven't really had success in many romantic relationships due to drinking and getting stabbed multiple times when I was on vacation. I was like, well, that doesn't sound like a lot of fun, dude. Which created some post-traumatic stress disorder, but I'm much better these days and have been working toward being better in romantic relationships. They broke up a couple of years ago, and she contacted me because she moved to my city. How convenient. I saw her a couple of times, but was standoffish and showed little interest. She wanted to get coffee, but I just blew it off. I finally took her out on a date this summer, and it went great, but we hugged afterwards. Gotta go for the kiss, dude. It's like, cause then you, all you did is confirm to her that it was, it was right for you and her to only be friends at that point. So I didn't contact her much. <clears throat> I saw her a couple of times after, but mostly in group settings. A couple of months after, we were at a mutual friends party, and I talked to the other girls mostly. And at the end of the night, I went up to her at the bar. She then told me that she loved me, and I instinctively told her that I loved her too. I would have said, it's like, well, why don't you kiss me and show me how much you love me? Just say it like that, dude. It's like this perfect opportunity to say those things. She then proceeded to kiss me on the hand. And he says, brutal in parentheses. Like, yeah, missed opportunity, brother. It's like, you just always assume that they want you. That's the best place to be. And then just chuckle internally and just think, hey, it's our loss. And you really feel that way if it doesn't work out. He says, I don't find that fair because she knows that I loved her in the past. I brushed it off and planned on not texting her. She was at the same college football game tailgate as me a couple of weeks ago, and she texted me to meet up. I had an extra ticket, and my buddy didn't want to go, so he told me that I should take her. So I did, and we had fun, and I was tipsy and all over her at the game, which caused her interest to be down when we were alone together later and didn't kiss at the end of the night. I noticed and didn't get a text or a call from her all week. Isn't it amazing how that happens? It's like... You do, think, you do things right, and they reach out to you more. You do things wrong, and it's like they totally pull away when their level of comfort and safety evaporates. But when you do nothing, your inaction actually causes them to start texting you and reaching out to you later. She texted me Friday night asking me what I was doing, and I told her I had plans. I said I might meet them at the bar, but I didn't, and she was texting me boo and that she was sad I didn't come. The next day, she... She left for a work trip in Europe for a couple of weeks, and then she texted me from over there her first night, and I kept it short. How would you play this? Is she finally available and coming to me at her own pace? I have strong feelings for her, and I'm trying to stay centered in my life. I'm pretty happy these days, and her being in my life helps. Well, first off, you're totally consumed by this girl, and I want to know why you're not dating other women. So you should be reading my book and applying what I what I teach with other women, same stuff, same thing with all the videos that I do and the articles that I do, because the more successful you become with other women, it will help you do more things right with this girl that you really do like when she reaches out to you. And so all you need to do with this girl, it's like, like I talk about a video I did a while back called Why All Women Want Me. It doesn't mean 100% of the women that I encounter want me, but I always assume in the back of my mind that they're, that they do, or if they don't, Right now, they will 
in a short while later once they get to know me a little better. Now, most of the time, that's not going to be true and it's not going to be correct, but it's always the best place to come from. And so what you should do with this particular girl is always assume that when she reaches out to you, it's because she wants you. And your job as a man is simply to arrange one fun-filled romantic opportunity for sex to happen after another. So this is what you do. When she does reach out to you next, just say, hey, great to hear from you. We should get together and, and make dinner together. When are you free? Question mark. Send that. Let her respond. And tell her to bring a bottle of wine over to your place, and then you'll make dinner together. And make definite plans. But if she won't make definite plans, withdraw the offer and just say, all right, we'll just have to do it some other time. And don't contact her. Don't text her. Don't reach out to her at all. Because the point being is if a woman is chasing you, she won't be getting rid of you. And so obviously I would, I would think that in her mind, because you're, you're not chasing, you're not pursuing, you're not really doing anything, but you're also not taking advantage of the opportunities that you are getting with her to make a move, invite her over for dinner. And the thing you got to be aware of, like when is it time, the sensory acuity to know when is it okay to kiss a girl. It's like when you're talking and you're hanging out at, at your place having dinner, she's going to be twirling her, her hair around her fingers and touching your arm and laughing at your jokes, standing really close to the point where she's she's bumping into you. And in that moment, that's when you make a move. You don't make a move when she's five feet away from you. You make a move when she's close to you because it's like her bumping into you and touching you and laughing at all your jokes and asking you personal questions of what's going on in your life or asking who you're dating. I mean, those are all things that communicate that she's ready to be touched and like if you're standing there talking to her and she's only a, a foot or two away from you and as she's talking you look down at her lips and then into her eyes and then her lips and then back into her eyes and if at any point of that time over the course of four or five seconds that you're doing that if she looks at your lips or your mouth as well it means that she's ready to be kissed and they just go in and kiss her or if she's playing with her hair and all that stuff just say you know what i think you just need to get it over with and kiss me and start making out and then just naturally roll on over to the couch and then eventually into the bedroom for a session of the indoor olympics and that's all you need to do but at this point i wouldn't you don't need to do anything because this girl texts you and she reaches out to you what you do need to do though is you need to arrange a date and a time for the two of you to get together and make a date that's all you need to do and that's like i said that's the only thing that you're going wrong you're not making a move and when she's reaching out to you, you're just kind of ignoring her. You can't expect her to do everything. You can't expect her to be the man in the relationship. The idea is you just gently guide her, and so you take advantage of the phone calls and the texts when she reaches out, and you just assume it's because she wants you and she wants to see you. So facilitate that. But don't do shit in group settings, and don't agree to all that. If you try to arrange a date and she says, well, let's do something as a group, then just withdraw the offer. It's either you get what you want or you withdraw the offer and just say, hey, give me a call when you change your mind or give me a call when your schedule's more open. So if you have a question that you want to ask me, go to my website, click the Contact Me tab, which will be in the left-hand side of your screen, and send me one to two paragraphs max. And just give me several days to get back to you with a response. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. And you can do that by going to my website, click the Products tab, which will be at the top of your screen. And just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle ebook, which I highly recommend, on my website underneath the email sign up box is a box that has a link that'll take you right to the Amazon Kindle download page. Once you get there, if you don't have a Kindle device, on the right hand side of the download page is a button you can click to download a free e reader app for your smartphone, tablet device, or your computer. It only takes a matter of seconds to download and install the app and complete the purchase of my book. And if you appreciate the value of the information I offer in these video newsletters and the articles on my website and my ebook, you can show your appreciation by going to my website and on the Wibby toolbar, which will be at the bottom of your screen, click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information. And I will talk to you soon.